Well, it is being touted tonight as a way to save millions of dollars on public construction projects. But what if there aren't enough Hoosiers to do those jobs? Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader says that is the dilemma now confronting lawmakers as they continue to grapple with a bill to repeal the state's common construction wage law. Well, you guys, not everyone. Their supporters say it's about 10 to 20 percent is what lawmakers or what the state would save by uh, enacting or getting repealing the uh, uh, the bill, but the law. But there, on the other hand, out everyone says those savings will be passed on. The common construction wage has been the law of the land in Indiana for 80 years, but now it's under attack. Government should not be in the business of fixing prices and mandating wages. The market, as you've heard today, is the solution to that. In a property tax capped environment, cash strapped local units of government cannot afford to pay inflated costs for their construction projects. It's been discussed for years, proposed last Friday, and debated over four hours on Tuesday. The governor even weighed in on the bill. Uh, this measure would save taxpayers millions of dollars. And it would lessen the burden on cash-strapped local governments and local schools. However, one after another, those who oppose the idea say it will not save as much money as currently being touted. Not all the Republicans are in favor of this. Phil Kenney is not a lawmaker, but he is a Republican, and he testified against the bill because of what he sees as a shortage of quality young people choosing the profession. Well, we need to get more young people into our business to, to take care of these shortages. and. The, the one big way to do that is to have a, a great wage and benefit package. By repealing this law, you're, you're doing just the opposite. You're, you're, making, you're giving them a, dis, a disincentive to get into our industry. Tim Wicker from Danville concurred. I don't think we want our counselors in our schools telling them that the building trades is an opportunity to go out and make $9 an hour. That's not setting their goals real high. But bill author Jerry Tor from Carmel says the days of setting a common construction wage in Indiana are over. That's just not a free market system, and uh, I know we've had this for 80 years, but I think it's time for us to let it go. And the committee did just that. They voted for the repeal by an 8-4 to four vote. The House chamber was not packed today. We wondered if it would be like right to work, but it wasn't like that at all. The House was full, but the place was not packed. Representative Torr says that's because this is more of a business issue than a union issue. At the State House, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.